Hi guys, and if you just watched my video of war the warmer and scent of the month for January 2021, I figured I'd take the time since it's right before the holidays to come on and talk about what I've been warming for the month of December. I've been meaning to do this or kind of go through my empties, but I always never get a chance to do that. So I figured let me take the opportunity right now to go through what I've been warming for the month of December and kind of also what I had warming in November, but more so what I've been kind of finishing through. So first off, I have a very snowy spruce uh, buttercup bell fragrance flower and totally love this guy. He was in my half bath on my main level for I would say a good part of November to just recently. I just switched it out for another one. Uh, very snowy spruce for my half bath uh, to keep up with the holiday. A really, really pretty flower. Um, I was re originally torn between the, um, I think it's called the Darling Dahlia, which I have in Luna in my guest room. But now seeing this one with how pretty um, it opens up, I like the Buttercup Bell a little tad more. Um, but with the Christmas scents or the holiday scents, you didn't really have a choice. You just got the Buttercup Bell. And I really, really liked it. Um, I just, like I said, put another one in my half bath. So I really got about a month and a half, I would say, from this guy. Um, I didn't bring it down. But I did get in my starter kit when I joined Scentsy in October a sea salt and avocado one that came in my kit and that guy is still kicking in my laundry room and it's been like I said since the end of September so October 1st um, till now and it still is smelling there's still a little bit of oil on the bottom I would think I'm gonna swap it out in the new year but it lasted a pretty long time it moved from several rooms too because I was trying to find a good home for it and it's been residing in my laundry room so got through two fragrance flowers in, in two different locations. Um, I still have a Luna uh, Darling Dahlia in my guest room, which has a little bit of oil. Um, it's been there since mid-October. So definitely highly recommend these guys for small spaces, offices, or just anywhere that you want a pretty alternative to fragrance if you don't want the wax or the wall diffusers. But these retail for 16 and they're definitely well worth it. So really, really pretty. Uh, not like the traditional reed oil, um, but got through uh, very snowy spruce uh, for the holidays and on to the second one. So uh, let's dive into what I've been warming. So I have several bars here that I've started into and also um, some uh, or several bricks that I've started into and several bars that I've either went through or about to finish. So um, kind of also changed a little bit with my scent preference over the last, I would say, good week or two. Um, I've kind of changed from the bakery um, and I never typically was a bakery scent person. Um, I didn't like the sugar cookie or the cookies for, you know, any of those things from like Yankee Candle or Bath and Body Works or anything of that nature. But I switched to more woodsy, the pines and the Christmas scents. So I can tell you what I have currently warming and what I have been warming. So um, I have switched a little in my preference. So let's just dive in um, and I'll show you what my what bricks I've been warming. So part of the holiday collection in the bricks. Now, if you're new to Scentsy and you're like, what the heck is a brick? Uh, excuse me, a brick is five and a half bars. Um, and this is a bar, uh, five and a half of these in this brick. So I did the holiday promotion, which was, I think it's still going on, um, on the Sensi website. You can hop on my website or your fellow Sensi consultants where you got two bricks for 40 or one for 24. Um, so I got these two when I did the promo. So and then I had to go back because everybody that I knew on either YouTube or my sponsor or whomever I spoke with, they were like, you just have to get um, this other scent as well. So I'll tell you what that is in a minute, but I had to have that in a brick as well. So this is what I've been warming. Um, I got through about two, two cubes, I guess, and a half of the salted caramel toffee. Um, I'm not really loving this one. Um, I thought that I would. 
it again on on cold it definitely it, you get a sugar high um i'm if you have suggestions please post in the comments what you recommend mixing this with um i'm just not i'm just not feeling it um so definitely let me know any fellow consultants or um customers what you've been warming with this so i can kind of get through maybe half a brick um but i don't really like it smells really good on cold warming day one is good right out of the gates but then on like day two or three it takes on like a bitter tone you kind of get that because it is a butter butter scotch kind of scent you kind of get a bitter like that bitter note comes through and it just like i don't know it just it doesn't do it for me um so again let me know in the comments what you've been mixing as a mixer with this um so i can get through this bar i mean get through this brick um, I'm, like I said, I'm just not as loving it as much as I should. So that's the salted caramel toffee. Um, and then this one I, um, I love, it is just a really pretty Christmas holiday scent on cold. You smell, you smell like a cinnamon, you smell cranberry, you get a little bit, I'm trying to think whatever else is in there. You, people keep saying cherry. You might get a little cherry. I don't on cold, but definitely a cinnamon and a cranberry. Just a really nice, well-rounded, not too punchy in the face Christmas scent. So if you don't like the woodsy uh, pine note scents, this one's a really pretty, all-around nice holiday scent. So um, I kind of broke it up. I'm, I'm almost kind of done with like I would say I use two cubes. Um, so I've been warming this one. Uh, definitely a nice pretty scent for the holidays. Um, so I highly recommend Crimson Berry Christmas. So I've been warming that one. And then, like I said, I just had to get this brick. because Everybody was like, oh God, it smells so good. And it does. It literally smells. You get the mint. You get the cocoa. Um, it's marshmallow mint cocoa. Um, I just had a splurge and get another a brick. Um, I've already warmed two cubes. Um, oh, it just smells so good. Um, I have it actually warming in my uh, November warmer of the month, the barn. Really, really pretty. Nice. You get a little bit of mint. You get the cocoa on finish. Um, it, it definitely <laughs> like screams the holidays. Um, so definitely loving this one. Um, I did put in my club at first a bar. Uh, I'm almost done with this guy. Um, I lost it. That's why I started using the brick, but I found it. I'm almost done with the bar. Um, but this, this is what I put in to my Scentsy Club to try it before I went ahead and did the brick um, for this go around. So definitely recommend that one. Try to close it. Um, and give that one a whirl either Put it in your Scentsy Club or get the brick. I think the brick is still available. I'm not too sure, but this is marshmallow mint cocoa. So I've been warming that. Almost finished with the bar. Highly recommend it. it smells delish. Um, another one that I went through that I put in my club, and I'm not too sure if it's going to stay there because, like I said, my scent preference has changed. So on cold gingerbread hugs, I was like, oh, God, no. Um, but as soon as as I warmed it, I really, really liked it. Um, and this is from the sense of the season. You can see the bag behind me. Um, I really, really liked it warming and you don't really get as much ginger as you do the nutmeg in this one. So it's not really a strong gingerbread scent. It's more of a nutmeg scent. So it really warms nice for like day one, day two. And then by day three, you kind of have to take it out because it's not a really strong performer. Now, this one is a pretty decent performer for at least three days, uh, depending on how much cubes you have to put in the warmer. Um, I also noticed, depending on what warmer you use, the throw. So if it's the like a light bulb or wattage versus the element, you get more scent. But, yeah, I don't know. This one's in my club currently. This is Gingerbread Hugs. I got through a bar. Um, not sure if it's going to stay there, but... That's what I've been warming for this month. Another bar that I got through and I absolutely love. If you haven't tried this scent, I wish that I can get it in a brick. I've watched a fellow YouTuber and she got a brick 
and I am like, it wasn't a brick, I think, last year or the year before that. I am so jelly, and I wish that I can get it in a brick, but Silver Bells. Um, definitely my go-to fresh Christmas scent. Um, just a really nice scent. You can warm it anywhere. That's what's so versatile about this one. Um, love it in the in the den, in the open concept. Also warmed it in my bedroom bathroom combo. It smells good. And what I like about Silver Bells is it's like minty candy canes, caramel sugar, and something like that. I like how it changes. It starts out on one note and then it kind of transforms into a different note. So it really has a lot of character and fragrance family for me in Silver Bells. So if you're if you really want to make a switch over to fresh and you're not too sure, oh my god, it smells so good. Definitely highly recommend Silver Bells. So this is my favorite of the holiday collection or the holiday grouping this year. Oh god. It is in my club, um, and it's probably going to stay there until, I don't know, but oh, so good. Definitely recommend Silver Bells. Okay, um, and next is a combo that I've been warning cur courtesy of some YouTubers. They recommended to mix. So I was already a fan of apples and oats. Um, by itself. I loved it as soon as I warmed it in my office. Um, it is a really strong performer in a smaller concept but does very well in an open concept and that's apples and oats. So highly recommend apples and oats. It's a bakery from the bakery collection. It just smells really nice. Um, smells really nice in uh, like breakfast cooking in the morning. Um, definitely definitely love it. Um, but like I said, a fellow YouTuber recommended mixing uh, apple butter frosting. So I've been mixing apples and oats and apple butter frosting together and also warming them alone. So if you like these two scents, I highly recommend either doing them together or leaving them on their own. They're both really good performance on their own, um, either one cube to one cube or just one cube, one cube uh, or two and two, depending on uh, if you just want to try one or the other. But really nice scents. Um, the sugary kind of cuts out, cuts over the, I guess the apple or they feed off of one another. It's just a really nice, well-rounded mixer. So I would highly recommend you try mixing these two together. If you love them and you have them, give it a try. I think you will like it. Um, but yeah, apples and oats and apple butter frosting. Um, I hope apple butter frosting and apples and oats um or at least apple butter frosting sticks around i have them both in my club right now because i don't know what the spring catalog is going to bring but i definitely like these uh so this is apples and oats and apple butter frosting so almost through these um been warming these as well and then i just had a try and i started warming this in my kitchen this week um i heard a couple of people in reviews say they were on the fence about it, but they were like, if you like the apple scents, give it a try. So I branched out, went on a limb, and got baked apple pie. And so far, so good. I really do like it. I have two cubes warming, and it's a really nice bakery scent. Definitely reminds me of a little bit of the apple oats, but a little more of the spice. Um, you get a little more spice than you do with the apples and oats. Um, this is more bakery and this is more spicy. I mean, they're both in the bakery collection, but this has more of a spice and I'm typically a spice kind of girl. So if you like those notes, uh, definitely recommend baked apple pie. So I've been warming it almost like not even halfway through, but that's also in there. Um, and then last but not least, uh, also been warming two pine scents. Um, I first started out, and I didn't pull it from me, it's on my wall over there, but I first started liking very snowy screws. I got through half a bar, I didn't pull it, um, and I've actually found a new love for another pine scent, or a Christmas um, woodsy scent, and I switched. So, really bummed, because I'm almost out of it, and I really want it soon, <laughs> um, but very snowy spruce was my go-to. Absolutely love, love, love very snowy spruce. But now I have a new love <laughs> and it's iced pine. Um, I don't know why, but very snowy spruce is pretty strong with one cube. 
with ice pine, you get like a little bit of a minty smell, but you also get that pine and the, it just smells like Christmas to me. Um, very snowy spruce is nice. Don't get me wrong, but ice pine is definitely taken, taken lead for, for Christmas scent. Um, so it is in my uh, deck the halls warmer going as we speak. I changed out another two cubes today. Look forward to warming it for um, the holidays starting tomorrow um, and definitely recommend Ice Pine. If you love very snowy spruce and you're really into it, I am definitely going to have to get another bar of that. So this is Ice Pine. And then another one, and I have it warming in my office right now. And you really get, I know the top note, I don't have the catalog with me right now, but I do know that the top note of this one, this is just for you, is Blackberry Jam. And that's what you get on cold. And that is what you get warming with a little bit of a pine note um, or a fir note, Christmas tree note. But oh, it smells so good. Um, so you get more of a jammy smell on this one than you do this one, which is more kind of minty and woodsy. So also recommend just for you. So if you like very snowy spruce, I highly recommend you give these a try. I'm also wondering, and I don't want to waste this just yet because I want to get another bar. I wonder how they would do mixing these two. I might mix ice pine and just for you together, or maybe ice pine and very snowy spruce or one or the other, but definitely recommend these guys. Um, they're pretty decent performers. Uh, ice pine went for a couple of days. I just switched it out. So I would say three or four days. It depends on how often you want to change your wax, but I definitely recommend these for the holidays. Um, I think that's about it. I, I know I didn't bring it down, but I have a cozy cardigan bar that I tapped into. It is going in my, um, my two bathrooms upstairs uh, in my mini crystal Christmas warmers. Um, so I'm almost done with that bar. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much what I have been warming for the month of December. Uh, got through, uh, didn't bring it down, but a pink cotton washer whiffs little tub. And um, I think that's about it. So yeah, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed watching tonight. Uh, look forward to catching you on what I've been warming for the month of January and maybe even kind of going through what will be in my basket at the beginning of January. So stay tuned to those videos, guys. I uh, hope everyone has a happy holiday season. Stay safe out there, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.